Hello everyone, welcome to DSP NITIP. This is Pravin of third year BTEC ECE department. In this video, we are going to learn the Bandstock FIR filter design problem by using rectangular window through MATLAB. And also, we can solve the problem 10.2 by using 10.1 from digital signal processing by John G. Proyakis. Introduction to design of FIR filter by using window technique. Here we want to design a low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of omega c. The desired frequency response will be HD of omega equal to 1 for omega less than omega c, 0 otherwise. To find the equivalent time domain representation, we can calculate the inverse discrete time Fourier transform from the below formula. Here we can see the figure of impulse response of ideal low pass filter with omega c equal to pi by 4 and also HD of n needs an infinite number of input samples to perform filtering. Now let's try to solve the problem. We want to design a band stop FIR filter by approximating the ideal frequency response. Frequency response of the filter will be HD of omega equal to 1 per mod omega less than or equal to pi by 6 and also and omega lies in between pi by 3 to pi for 0 omega lies in between pi by 6 to pi by 3 to find the equivalent time domain representation we can calculate the inverse discrete time Fourier transform by given formula by substituting hd of omega and integrating we can get hd of n for rectangular window omega of n equal to 1 for n lies between 0 to 24 and 0 otherwise. Now we can discuss MATLAB code to design bandstock filter with order 24 and, and sampling frequency 8 kHz. Since it is bandstock we will be having two frequencies FC1 and FC2. Cutoff frequency should be in between 0 to sampling frequency by 2. FIR can take always normalized frequency. So we can convert FC1 and FC2 to omega C1 and omega C2. Omega C1 and omega C2 in between 0 and 1. Otherwise we get error. Then we get the magnitude frequency response and magnitude linear phase response. Thank you.